So I guess UFC 294 is cursed. Charles Oliveira is out of his fight. He actually just posted a picture of the cut. And Jesus Christ, it's gruesome. And Dana just said at a press conference, he's upset because he would have sent Charles to a plastic surgeon who would have stitched it from the inside, possibly still allowing him to fight. But he got it stitched up then let the UFC know, so there's no way the fight can happen. Look, though, I get it. He only has one more shot at Islam, and is he really going to jeopardize it when something this catastrophic comes out of nowhere? The only thing I'm curious about is what landed that caused that cut. I mean, I would assume they got elbow pads on. I hope they have shin pads. It's very rare to get cut that badly when you're using all your protection, but it could have been a headbutt. Maybe they were supposed to go light, and they didn't go light because no one ever goes light when they say they're going to go light. You'd think a week before a world title fight, though, they might want to take it easy, maybe not jeopardize the entire card, but who knows? As soon as I heard the news, I immediately thought to myself, okay, well, Gamrot's the backup fighter. You know, it could still be interesting. Gamrot, really high-level wrestler. There's probably going to be some really cool wrestling transitions, but Islam's the way better striker. He'd probably be able to defend Gamrot's takedown similarly to how Benil Dariush did. But then all of a sudden, we get the news that Volk is stepping in. Now, my best guess was Dana brought all his executives in, and they went, okay, guys, Gamrot can't sell a pay-per-view to save his life. This cannot happen. What else do we got? And they landed on Volk because Volk is obsessed with fighting and they knew he would accept it. Now, directly after their first fight, Volk was adamant that with some adjustments, he can beat Islam easily. Now, that I don't know about, but what I do know is the first time he fought Islam, you can tell the main entry him and his coaches worked on was a switch stance entry where he starts at the body and then tries to land upstairs. He did this over and over and over again. I did an entire slow-mo breakdown of their fight, and this is the most apparent thing you're going to see in that whole video. Now, the thing him and his team weren't expecting was how much of a sniper Islam was. The second Volk would dip down to go to the body, Islam timed his backhand every single time clipping Volk, hurting him pretty badly a couple times. Now, I'm not sure what adjustments Volk is planning to make. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say the leg kick. The leg kick was there a lot in that first fight. And there were a few times, especially towards the end of the fight, where you can tell the leg kick was starting to bother Islam. But Volk wasn't even targeting it as much as he could have. Volk's team was very worried about the takedown and not very worried about the striking, but I think in the rematch, this is going to be reversed. Volk knows he can get up if Islam takes him down, but he needs to be weary of the striking. But this is all dependent on how good of shape is Volk in. Now, I'm sure he's in really good shape. I think he's in shape all year round. But as you guys know, Volk likes to put himself through the meat grinder before he fights. He does these vicious shark tanks, and he's not going to have a chance to do that in the lead-up of this fight. One good thing for Volk, though. I got the call at 3 a.m. this morning. Volk said we might have a rematch on 12 days' notice. He's like, when's the earliest you can get to Australia? Here we are on the next swipe down. Rematch is on Makachev once again proving Sambo. I can't lie, I do feel a little bit of relief because as some of you know, if Charles lost against Islam, I was going to delete my entire channel permanently. I said that in my last Charles Oliveira video and well, I guess now I don't need to worry about that. What I am really upset about though, Paulo Costa is out of his fight with Hamzat Shemaev. From what I've gathered so far, I believe he is not cleared to fight due to the staff infection. Everyone was saying, oh, look at these excuses. You know you're going to pull out. You're just trying to build this up beforehand. I mean, that was a pretty gnarly staph infection on his elbow. And he clearly did have to get surgery on it. I mean, if you want to call that an excuse, I mean, I guess technically it is. 
It's not a terrible one, that's for sure. But now the UFC is having a lot of trouble finding a replacement. I mean, dude, uh, who on earth wants to fight Hamzat on 10 days notice? That is a very risky fight, especially if you're a top-ranked fighter. Not to mention, pretty much every single middleweight weighs around 255 pounds outside of camp. There's no way they can get to 185 in 10 days. Reportedly, they asked Marvin Vittori. He said, F that, no way. Honestly, who I think they should get, Israel Adesanya. He can still make the weight. Apparently, he always wants to fight. Let's see it happen. Israel Adesanya versus Hamzat. 